countryside. I had 5,000 5, crowns invested in the ice machine upgrade in the fridge. <laughs> this is my ice machine. The problem was communication. Big Stone House, I never had her at listening distance. She was always at echo distance. So I just misunderstand everything. She'd be like, putting your feet on the table like that? Don't do that. Do that. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the mood. Don't come closer. Come closer. <laughs> Don't put that there. Put that there. Put that there. <laughs> Our bedroom was very... <laughs> I don't think a threesome with my 18-year-old sister is a good idea. A threesome with my 18-year-old sister is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, some uh, old people here and VR and fucker and everything. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, uh, we have three young guys here, three young guys here. Where are you guys from? Can you guys, can you three friends stand up right now? <laughs> how, how the, uh, how the fuck old are you guys? Did you guys get in here okay? <laughs> I have a question for you. Uh, Swedish Idol 2011 called. They, uh, they want their One Direction Plan B back. And <laughs> Rickning. <laughs> that joke was better in my head. You guys are done. <laughs> I um, I love my uh, I love Sweden. You guys are really cool. You have a. Uh, you have a, uh, you can buy cat food and it's called Pussy in a Can, that's amazing. <laughs> and on the side it says, as good as it looks. <laughs> I love it when, uh, in Canada and the States, when, you, when, you, when, it, when it's your birthday, the boss buys you a cake. Everyone's like, yay, it's your birthday. In Sweden, you have to buy your own fucking cake and take it to the <laughs> I love how Swedes are not religious. You guys are not religious, are you? Not religious. I love it. If you start talking to a Swede about the Last Supper, they'll just be like, oh, yes, well, we had, last night we had smashed potatoes and meatballs. <laughs> My favorite Swedish word, if you ever go on the train to Ursenstog, to Helsingborg or somewhere, and the train stops in Landskrona, this happened, a woman said to her boyfriend, you want me to go half I'm going to do a <laughs> that is the best word of all time. Play! <laughs> I can say that all day. Play! 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 <laughs> oh, Predator, okay, Predator. <laughs> Very good switch <laughs> yes. Predator, can you imagine the trailer to that movie about a boy going on a date? <laughs> there was a boy, he was 16, she was 17, he was the Predator. <laughs> a movie that will indulge in two hours as he gets ready for his date. <laughs> At his parents' house. He was the pre date. <laughs> I, uh, I met my Swedish ex at a New Year's Eve party in Paris, 2004. I was very drunk. I said, uh, Swedish woman, my New Year's resolution is to be with a Swedish woman by the end of the evening. And then she was like, well, look at you, Canadian guy. Because my resolutions are to be more slutty and lower my standards. <laughs> <laughs> Worked out for me. <laughs> now, she was living in England at the time, working as an au pair. And I called her the next day from the Paris Hotel. I said, how are you doing? And she's like, Joe, I'm good. I'm, uh, I'm doing just the walk of shame back to England. On the train, the Channel Tunnel. <laughs> and I thought to myself, that's mean. But then I thought, wow, that is historical. That is the first time in history anyone has done the walk of shame in that direction towards England. <laughs> it's very intelligent, Joe. <laughs> Gotta keep up, Bjorn. Right. 
I, um, I love, uh, I, I, I was actually an exchange student in Umeo in 97, 98. And I remember we went on a ferry from uh, Umeo to Vasa in Finland. And my two best friends were Germans. And we had a little competition because we were young, we were 21. And we're like, if you uh, get a telephone number, one point. You get a kiss, two points. A slow dance and a disco, he's cool. Finish. It's three points. So the next morning, we were like, what did you get? I was like, I got two points, two phone numbers. One German guy was like, bah! Because all Germans start saying, bah! <laughs> bah! I got four points, four phone numbers. And then the third guy, the German guy, were like, how'd you do? And he's like, bah! <laughs> Minus 13. <laughs> Met two Finnish girls and woke up on the Slovenian guy. <laughs> That's a new joke, it went pretty good on it. <laughs> now, uh, before I go, a couple things. First of all, firstly, all of you with Apple products? Apple products, yes? Yes, very proud, aren't you, you uh, fucking bitches? <laughs> I'm going to tell you, all the Apple people here, something very depressing. Very depressing. Everyone with Android here, you're going to love this. Everyone with Windows here, Windows phones, the three drunk Finnish people and one Bulgarian guy. <laughs> oh, I have Windows! You're <laughs> <laughs> Apple people, no, no, no. you're going to be so depressed. Did you know that if you search on Hotels.com, Booking.com, Skyscanner.com for hotels or flights, did you know that the prices, if you search from an Apple product, are 5 to 10 percent higher. You were getting fucked! I knew it! <laughs> Did you know that, Apple people? <laughs> oh, it's because we can afford more. Yeah, fuck you, whatever. <laughs> the, next, the next time I'm in Canada visiting my mom and I'm looking for a flight home to Europe, and use her Windows 95 dial-up. Eight dollars, one way. <laughs> now, uh, before I go, uh, I, I do want to uh, indulge you with what Canadians do well the best. We make fun of Americans. Should we do that? No. <laughs> Americans are very predictable and cute, aren't they? All their Hollywood movies, what happens when an alien comes down from outer space? They always land in the States and end up speaking English. What the fucking hell is that? <laughs> the States is 6% of the world's surface area. Did you know that? 6%. Pacific Ocean, 70%. 70%. When E.T. came down from outer space, he should have just landed in the Pacific Ocean and drowned. <laughs> that would have been the whole movie. That would have been a great movie. <laughs> Steven Spielberg presents a five minute mini documentary. E.T. lands in the Pacific. And drowns. <laughs> that movie would have just had one line. E.T. Phone <coughs> <coughs> <Called> out waterproof. <coughs> <laughs> what about what about E.T. landing in other countries? What would those movies be like? E.T. landing in Ireland? Instead of putting little candies out for him to follow, they put a little pints of Guinness for him to follow. <laughs> They're like, come on, you little four. Come to the fucking pub, you little four. <laughs> E.T. landing in Finland? Just some three hour dark drama in the woods without dialogue? <laughs> and in the movie, some big fat Finnish guy comes out of the forest. He's like, E.T. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but before I go, the best movie would be, of course, E.T. landing in Lance Krona. <laughs> I think that movie would just be E.T. getting some 16-year-old virgin teenager pregnant and they live up in welfare for three weeks. But of course, as we all know, that movie could never happen because there's no 16-year-old um, virgin left on that scrum, huh? Thank you very much, everyone. My name's Joey. You can find me on joestandup.com or you can find me at the bar after. Uh, we're going to have a uh, really uh, special guest. He's, uh, I think, the oldest comic on the lineup tonight. He's a very cool guy, Mr. Sven Nielsen!